welcome all uh, today we'll be discussing about uh, general machine structure this structure this, the structure of cpu it is typically called as one newman machine such as IBM system 360 this structure does consist of nine blocks and in this structure we have the following uh, blocks that is initially we have these two blocks the next thing is you do have a major big block and here you have one more block here you have one more as well as here you have one more and here you have two more and here you have one more so totally you have uh, nine blocks now let us try to analyze this here the first block is if any other input output channels are there if any here it is your input output channels so because there can be more than one input output channels so this block is divided into three blocks and uh, this first block is called as memory controller and this we call it as MAR memory address register and this we call it as memory buffer register so here you call it as LC location counter and IR instruction uh, uh, register and your II it is instruction interpreter uh, this we call it as working register and this we call it as general register and if any other process CPUs are there if any then they are connected to the main system and this block we call it as the CPU and now let us try to analyze the uh, relationship between uh, each and every module and here you do have n number of memory locations which are used for uh, specific uh, purposes this MBR interacts with the working register as well as your IR and uh, it interacts with IR with respect to instruction and this with respect to data and your uh, instruction interpreter interacts with what do we call it as your working register and in addition to that of course it's a bi-directional uh, flow and here this IR also interacts with your general register and of course uh, this is one directional uh, from IR to uh, GR and your instruction interpreter interacts with your location counter and in addition to that your instruction interpreter also interacts with your MAR that is memory address register and your location counter also interacts with your MAR that is memory address register and your IR interacts with your ii that is instruction interpreter so these are the uh, communications and again your input output channel interacts with uh, memory controller it's a bidirectional one where in which data can flow in both directions and again input output channels interact with uh, interacts with the memory controller this entire architecture we call it as general machine 
structure. Now let us try to analyze each and every module how it works. Now the CPU does have two uh, things. The first one is instruction interpreter. Uh, we also call it as II. This is nothing but it's a group of electrical circuits uh, usually related which relates with hardware which performs tasks that is to fetch the instructions from memory and uh, the second uh, component that it interacts with is your LC that is location counter this is also called by a uh, PC that is your program counter it is also called as IC that is your instruction counter and all these things denotes the location of current instruction being executed and it also keeps a copy in IR that is instruction register now coming into MAR this contains the addresses of memory location which is to be read now getting into MBR that is memory buffer register it contains a copy of the designated memory location which is specified by MAR that is memory address register so the next thing what you have is your memory controller intact which uh, deals with the hardware wherein which it transfers data between MBR and core memory location now the last one is your input output channels so this is used for your input output as well as output purpose so these are the things that you have to discuss if anything anything is asked uh, based on monument architecture thank you